My name is Lucretia Coffin Mott. I'm a, born on Nantucket Island, and I'm a New England Quaker. My, my mission is simply what everyone's mission is, to help others see the light of truth that is within their own souls. And uh, what do you do here uh, at the theater? Are you going to give a presentation? Well, I will speak for about 10 minutes in a sermon style, and I have been asked also to speak a bit about my own history, something of which I am less comfortable speaking. I, I am very comfortable speaking as the Lord leads me to hopefully help others to see the, the truth and the understanding that all people are created equal and that neither slave nor woman should be held in any form of subjugation as less than their male counterparts. So that is my expected sermon, but the remainder of the time I shall speak about myself. Now you said you're a Quaker from New England. Um, does that make you special? I thought a lot of Quakers lived in Philadelphia. <laughs> Nothing makes me special, madam. I am merely, uh, merely speaking as the light of truth leads me. Uh, many, new, many Quakers settled in New England and the island that I'm from, Nantucket. Uh, it was, I suppose about half the folks there when I was growing up were Quakers and the other half were of the world's people. So I've grown up side by side with the people of the world. My mother was a shopkeeper. My father was a seafaring man until a ship got lost. Well, he was lost for two years. Uh, when he returned, he decided that the sea was no longer to be for him, so we resettled in Boston. And that's when I went to school at Nine Partners in New York, a Quaker school, and eventually met the man who would become my husband, my partner, and my greatest friend. James Mott. And is it true that you lived in Pennsylvania? Oh, yes. Uh, we settled in Philadelphia uh, shortly before I was to be married. My father tried his fortunes at a nail manufactory here in Philadelphia, and I, I persuaded him to take my future husband, James, with him. So most of my married and adult life, I've been here in Philadelphia. And uh, well, have plans eventually. I expect we'll move up to Abington area north of the city, but right now I'm in Philadelphia. The heart is stronger than you think, like it can go through anything. 